Einen schönen guten Abend. Ich darf Sie recht herzlich begrüßen zur Pressekonferenz nach dem Penny dl spiel der Augsburger Panther gegen die Adler Mannheim. Entstand im Konferenzenstadion für etwas mehr als 4.200 Zuschauer und 5 zu 4 für die Augsburger Panther nach Verlängerung. Ich darf bei mir die beiden Trainer begrüßen für unsere Gäste aus Mannheim bis Stuart und für die Augsburger Panther unseren Headcoach Kai Suikannen. Das erste Wort gehört wie immer dem Gästetrainer bis Stuart. Darf Sie um Ihre Einschätzung zum Spiel? Ja, yeah, first of all, congratulations to uh Augsburg and Dwayne and his staff. I thought you guys, uh, you got your team working very hard, and, and uh, that's what the game is all about, you know, with a little bit of passion and what have you. For us, it's very simple. Uh, until we check our egos in at the door and, and uh, find the work ethic we had three weeks ago, we'll struggle. And our best players right now are not our best players. And when that happens, you struggle and. We're struggling right now, you know, we've done some good things in games, but uh, today, you know, we, we have a 3-1 lead and then uh, if you take anything for granted in this league, it will bite you right in the ass. And we got bit in the ass and I'm sick and tired as our coaching staff working our asses off and I watch players not doing their job, period. And I'm not talking the whole team. I'm talking the 10 and 10 club. We got 10 really good, solid players that are working really hard. And we've got a few that are just going through the motions. It's so frustrating, it's a joke. And we'll just leave it at that. Um, you play like this in the playoffs, you go one, two, three, four out. That's reality, and that's where we're at right now. So uh, we got a we got a little bit of work to do. Thanks a lot, Stuart. Kai, congrats on the second win in a row. How do you see the game? Okay, thank you. Uh, for sure, it wasn't the greatest hockey game, but still. We we played enough well to get two points. Okay, there was moments. Moments like Bill said that they were leading 3-1 and it looked like we have problems, but then suddenly we got two goals. Even that 3-3 tie goal we get in from, from our zone face-off and we get a breakaway. And that was our defenseman who got that breakaway. That was like a big, really big goal for us. Third period, we took too many penalties. penalties and. Uh, But still, the game looked sometimes, especially in the second period, it was going coast to coast, back and forth all the time. It looked like a little bit crazy, crazy to my eyes. But still, for two points, I'm really happy for that. And I have to still say that even if we didn't play the, like, the greatest game, we have played really, really good games this year that we have lost them in the like, last minutes or whatever. But now we played two games in Breverhammer and here, which weren't the best games what we have played, but still we won those both. So, so for sure we have to be happy, happy for that that we can win those games. But still, yeah, overall... Happy for the points, but not so happy for the game. Thanks, Kai. Gibt es Fragen von Ihnen an einen der beiden Trainer? Milan Sarko, bitte. Um, Kai, tell, tell me, please, uh, how can you motivate a team that is uh, fighting for, um, let's say, nothing? Because you're on 14th place, either you win or lose. How, can, how did you motivate uh, the team? With the different things every day, just try to figure it out something. And guys are like motivated. It's not about that. Uh, like uh, you see that we are really trying. That, that's that's not about it. That, that the guys are like taking this uh, our position like a right way. That we have to show first. We have to show to ourselves that we can win this win these hockey games. And after after that, we have to show to the organization our our. Fans, great fans, etc., etc. But we have to, we just try, try to find a way every day to figure it out or do something different and motivate that way. I can't say that if we do this, then they are motivated. I, it doesn't work like this. But if it needs, I can go and dance naked there in the dressing room if it helps. But I think it doesn't help. So we have to find some different, different ways. Weitere Fragen? 
Das ist nicht so, da darf ich unseren Gästen aus Mannheim einen guten Nachhauseweg und viel Erfolg für die Playoffs Danke. wünschen. Für die Augsburger Panther geht es dann weiter mit dem nächsten Heimspiel. Freitagabend 19.30 Uhr zu Gast sind dann die Eisbären Berlin. Bis dahin eine gute Zeit. Vielen Dank.